chapter, we're going to be studying the limits to measurement. In this lesson, we're going to look at accuracy, precision, and uncertainty. Okay, everybody, in this lesson here, we're going to take a look at accuracy, precision, and uncertainty. Okay, now there's a lot of writing here. So let me just kind of walk you through what it is we're talking about here. So accuracy, to start off with, is how close... Actually, I'm going to grab a little highlighter here. This might make this a little bit better. Accuracy is how close a measurement is to the true value. So with accuracy, we're interested in, in whether or not um, we're getting a measurement that's, that is correct, okay? Uh, precision, on the other hand, that's precision right here, is the smallest unit of measurement on the given measuring device. So precision is about the device, okay? Accuracy is, is ab about whether or not we're, we're uh, approaching the actual value of the, the um, object is that we're measuring. Precision is about the limitation on the device here. So precision is the exactness of a measurement. Actually, that's probably worth highlighting too here. It's the exactness of the measurement. So for example, if you've got a, a, a ruler that's measured off in the centimeters, then you will only know the measurement to the nearest centimeter. However, if you've got one to the nearest, if to, it's marked off in millimeters, then you'll know the measurements to the nearest millimeter. Now, just to give you a, a sense. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at, at this ruler right here. here. So this ruler, and uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but this ruler is marked off in millimeters. So the precision of this ruler is millimeters. I can, I can measure uh, this down to the nearest millimeter, okay? Uh, that's its precision. Now, I, in my classroom here, I have a, a ruler that has been, it's a meter stick that's been kind of abused by, by some students. And so it is bent. If you look at it from the side here, it's got a weird little warp to it, uh, which means when I lay it down, it never lays down flat. So when I make measurements with it, it's still marked off in, in millimeters, just like this ruler here. It's still precise to the nearest millimeter but it's not accurate. I'm not gonna get an accurate measure because I can't make that ruler lie down flat anymore. There's something wrong with the ruler. So that, in that case right there, I can be precise to the nearest millimeter, but it's not an accurate result. I just wanna make sure that you understand the, the results there. So just like it says here, if the ruler is warped, and I, and I was thinking about that ruler when I wrote this, the measurement will not be accurate even though it might be precise. Now, uncertainty is that margin of error in the measurement, okay? When you're measuring something, you're always going to eyeball it. So, like, I pull out the ruler here. I'm, I'm measuring, uh, like, let's say the, the length of the word measurement here, okay? So, I line it up on one end, and then I now got to decide here, well, that T, does that end at 2.1, or is that slightly over? How, what is it closest to? So I'm always going to round. Now, when you think back to your rounding, you, you look to the, the next decimal place and see, is it, point, is, it, is it a five or up or is it a five or below? So what I'm doing here, and remember, like your point five there is, is like a half, uh, represents half of a unit there. So the uncertainty, okay, is the margin of error in the measurement, and it's always, and we want to make sure that you catch this one, it is half the precision. It is half the precision. So in other words, if you've got a, if you've got an object that you're measuring and it lands between two marks, okay, so let's say that, that here are the, my two fingers here, these are the two like uh, marks on your ruler and I'm measuring this one. If it's, if the end of my, my finger is closer to this one, then I'm going to round down to this one, okay? So, but if I am a little bit more than half, I'm going to round up to this one. So in other words, there's this, there's this interval of a half there that if I'm not quite at the half, I'm going to round down. As soon as I, I go past a half, I'm going to round up. So it's this uncertainty, this part that I'm rounding over is always going to be half the measurement. So in the above example with the ruler, with the centimeter marks, the precision would be half of a centimeter. If you're, if you're down to the millimeters, it's going to be half of a millimeter, OK? 
okay? Uh, let's say you've got a, a stick that goes up by five centimeters. Okay, I mean, there's a mark every five centimeters. Well, then your uncertainty would be half of that, or 2.5 centimeters. Anyway, the way we normally then write our, our measurement once we've established that, so we, we know the precision. As soon as we know the precision, that gives us our uncertainty, okay? Because uncertainty, just to write this out, whoops, uncertainty is half precision. Then when we write out our measurement here, it's going to be the measured value, whatever it is we measure, plus or minus the uncertainty, okay? So those, that's a big issue here. Now, before we end this, one other issue that we bump into when we're measuring things is the appropriateness of the, the unit of measure or, the, or even the tool. It's not even necessarily the unit of measure sometimes. Sometimes it's just the tool. You can run into big problems with accuracy if you're using the wrong tool. So for example, if you're gonna measure the distance between two cities, measuring that with a meter stick is inappropriate. The meter is, is not a, a great, or the meter stick is not a great tool for that. I mean, you'd hate to be the guy who has to drop it down, flip it over, flip it over, flip it over, all the way, all the way down from one city to the next. And not only that, but every time you do that, you're going to introduce a little bit of an error there, a little bit of a mistake. You're either going to overlap or they're going to be spread apart a little bit. And so that's going to get bigger and bigger every time you do it. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct tool for the correct job, okay? Anyway, so those are our issues here. Accuracy. Is the measuring device going to give a true result? Precision. What's the best unit that I can get off of this measuring device? Uncertainty is going to be half of that precision because the uncertainty is going to tell me basically what my, what my leeway is in terms of rounding. How far can I go before I'm going to round to a measurement here? And then appropriateness. Is the tool that I'm using appropriate for the, the object or the, the thing that I'm measuring? Now let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so let's take a look at a question here. It says, each of the, in each of the following, comment on whether or not the measurement would be accurate and if the measuring device is accurate. Uh, so using your stride to measure the distance to the nearest restaurant. Uh, well, uh, okay, well, no, this is, this is not going to be accurate. Okay, uh, mostly because mostly because um, our stride has two problems. First of all, our stride is inconsistent for one person and between people. Now, so if you were to, to measure out your your strides, how many times you took a step between here and the nearest restaurant. Now, that's, that's not to say that that's not something that you wouldn't do. I mean, you, you might actually do that just to give somebody an idea of the, the distance there, but it's not very accurate. And if a, another person took that same uh, number of strides, they ought, very likely wouldn't end up at the same spot. Uh, even if you did it again, you probably wouldn't end up in the same spot. So that's not very accurate here. Using a meter stick to measure the length around someone's neck. Uh, no, that's not accurate. Okay, this is the wrong tool. Okay, the ruler, the ruler doesn't, doesn't conform to the, the shape of someone's neck. It doesn't wrap around here. So that's, that's the wrong tool. Um, it, at best, you could get like a, an estimate, a really rough estimate, but I mean... Yeah, you would have a you would have a difficult time making it work. Okay, you would struggle, and this is probably the best way to answer this. You would struggle to make this work. You could get a, a number, but I wouldn't trust it here. How about using a ruler marked off in millimeters to measure the length of the downtown hiking trail? Okay. Well, here again, this is not going to be accurate. And again, this is the wrong tool. Okay, this is the wrong tool. Uh, it would have to be repeated 
uh, it would have to be repeated so often, small errors uh, become large ones. Okay, every time you did the measurement, you would create a, a little error in your, in your measurement, and after a while, that little error becomes a big error. How about using a trundle wheel marked off in meters to measure the length around a baseball diamond? That is going to be accurate. Assuming the device is okay, that is accurate. It's the correct tool and unit. Okay, that, that is right. That's an appropriate tool. Now, if you're not sure what a trundle wheel is, it's, it's the one that's got the wheel on the stick, and then you see the guy holding it against the ground, and as he rolls it across, it, it rolls and measures off the distance there. So that is exactly what that tool is used for. Okay, in this question it says, identify the precision and uncertainty of each of the following. Okay, so let's take a look at this one right here. You might want to probably zoom in on that. So this one right here looks like it's being measured off in inches. Okay, and what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 little tick marks here between the 0 and the 1, which means the smallest the smallest unit that we're measuring here is 1 16th of an inch. Oops, sorry, I wrote, I wrote inch twice there. I don't need that. I'll have to get rid of this one. 1 16th of an inch. That is the precision. Now, that means that if the measuring, if the object that I'm measuring lies in between there, okay, I'm going to have to round it to one side or the other here. And so the uncertainty is going to be half of that. So my uncertainty is going to my uncertainty is going to be one half the precision, which is one half of one sixteenth. Whoops, you can't see that. And when you multiply that across, you're going to get one thirty second of an inch. That's the uncertainty. Any measurement you make here is going to be uh, accurate to within one thirty second of an inch. Let's take a look at this one. This one here, if you take a look at, this is a thermometer, and this is 10 degrees Celsius. There's another tick mark, 20 degrees. So basically, my precision here, it's going up in five degree increments. That's, that's what the smallest little tick mark is there. So any time that this thing, the, the thermometer is in between here, I'm gonna have to round one way or the other. My uncertainty is half the precision, okay, which means this is going to be half of 5 degrees or it's going to be 2.5 degrees Celsius. So anytime that I make a measurement here, I know that it's going to be, like it's going to be good, eh, give or take 2.5 degrees Celsius. So if I say, for example, it's 25 degrees Celsius, eh, it could be it could be two degree, two and a half degrees below that or two and a half degrees above that. How about this one here? A measuring cup is marked off in fifty milliliter increments. Well, that when we say it's marked off, assuming that's the smallest measurement here, its precision is going to be fifty milliliters. That's exactly what we mean by precision. So my uncertainty is going to be half the precision. So half of fifty milliliters or 25 milliliters. Again, meaning that when I, when I throw fluid in there and I'm measuring the volume, uh, that's how I'm going to round it. Okay, so if I say that something is 100 milliliters, uh, well, okay, I could be as much as 25 below or 25 above that based on the precision of this measurement. Okay, and this question here says, Teddy measured the height of a door to be 1.75 meters with a tape measure marked off in centimeters. Okay, so write the height in the form, measured value plus or minus the measured uncertainty. Okay, well if it's marked off in centimeters, that means its precision is one centimeter. Okay, that's the smallest unit that I can measure there is one centimeter here, which means the uncertainty is going to be half of that or half of a centimeter or if you, or if you want 0.5 centimeters. I know people, a lot of people prefer the decimal there. So, when we measure this, what I'm going to say here is I'm going to use uh, the measured value here to be 1.75 meters 
plus or minus 0.5 centimeters. Now, I don't really like the fact that I'm changing units here. Uh, that could look better. So what I maybe do here is change the, the meter here into centimeters. So because I'm going from a large unit to a small unit, my number's gonna get bigger by a jump of, of two spaces here. So it would be 175 centimeters plus or minus 0 0.5 centimeters. Okay, I like how that looks better. Or I could, alternately, I could take my uncertainty and change that, or I could write it as 1.75 meters, and I could move the decimal over two places the other direction for my uncertainty and make that 0 0.005 meters. Okay, both are, are fine, both are acceptable here. Sorry, I should have put meters here too. But I think this one, the numbers look a little bit cleaner there in, in this particular uh, question here. So then the question says, what is the range of possible values for the actual height of the door? Okay, so here's what I was getting at before here. So Teddy measures it to be 175 centimeters plus or minus 0.5 centimeters. So what we mean by that, the minimum that this could be is his 175 centimeters minus 0.5 centimeters. So when I say plus or minus, I'm gonna do exactly that. So this would be 174.5 centimeters. That's the minimum value it could be. The max is gonna be 175 plus 0 0.5 centimeters or 175.5 centimeters. Now, what I'm saying by this is that, look, if the actual real height of the door is anywhere in between 174.5 and 175.5 centimeters, when I look at the ruler, the measuring device that we're using, okay, because of the given precision of it, because of the way it's marked off, I would round every one of those, those values there to 175. This is the little bit of leeway that my measuring device gives me. And so it, it really helps me to understand when I'm, when I'm making measurements here, exactly what it is that I'm saying. So when, when Teddy says that the door is 175 centimeters, we need to know a little bit more about his measuring device to know how much we can trust that. Is like, that's a one centimeter swing. Is that, is that too much or is that okay? Is that acceptable? And we're going to have more discussions uh, about that later on in, in other lessons.